the intention for today's Mass is for Judy Aquaviva and Kathleen Gallagher. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My friends, as we gather together today on the feast day of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, Mother Cabrini, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you teach us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America, by her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and all those in need. And by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the control of magistrates and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness toward everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, 10 lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice saying, Jesus, master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, 10 were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Back in the 1980s on this date, the Diocese of Brooklyn held a convocation, as it does every year, for the priests of the diocese with the specific purpose of forming small fraternity groups to meet regularly for mutual prayer, support, encouragement, and friendship. And at that time, uh, my group formed, and it happened to be the feast day of, of, our, of Mother Cabrini and uh, today, and, and for the past almost 40 years, we've been meeting monthly uh, precisely for those purposes. So I think Mother Cabrini's been working overtime on me one way or another. She was a remarkable woman. She's had a certain amount of uh, notoriety, I suppose, uh, in the last few years. Uh, beautiful statues, beautiful statues, life-size bronze statues erected to her, both one in the Battery and one in the parish in Brooklyn where she had made one of her foundations. Uh, of course, the, the movie that came out earlier this year, uh, precisely about her life. And she continues to be a real presence, uh, pastorally and ministerially in the world with, with her foundation as her greatest monument, her order that she founded, the Missionary Servants of the Sacred Heart, uh, which exists on six continents today with many, many hundreds and hundreds of sisters who are members doing the good work of hospitals, of schools, of orphanages, and of other forms of pastoral ministry. And of course, she is the first uh, citizen of the United States ever to have been canonized. There are still only 11 of them. Her image and several of the others are enshrined in the arch above our choir loft here at St. Joseph Coe Cathedral as a tribute to their memory and for what they did for this country in terms of faith. The, 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 the uh, pattern of the work of Mother Cabrini St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, is really traced out in every gospel passage that we have. And we see it again today. St. Paul reminds Titus that he and the Christians, the first Christians, have moved from darkness to light, from slavery to sin to freedom as the children of God. And our Lord in the, power, in the encounter with the lepers draws out that very same dynamic, not just with the physical healing, but the fact that one of the 10 lepers did come back and did what? Not only was courteous being thankful to Jesus, but praising God. One out of 10. When we complain about today, we see our Lord face the same kind of odds that we face. But that doesn't mean we should give up. We should be like that leper who was cured. We know what has been done for us as Mother Cabrini knew what had been done for her. And we need to share that reality of faith, hope, and, and e the hope of eternal life, as St. Paul says, to become heirs in hope of eternal life. That last line in the first reading. That's what Mother Cabrini was convinced of and she wanted to share it is what we are to be convinced of and to share by the way we live our life. Recognizing how much God the Father cares for us, let us now bring our petitions to him. 
for an increase in religious vocations. May the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in wise decision-making as they strive to bring peace to our world and harmony to our nation. We pray to the Lord. For people isolated by illness or age, may the grace of God's presence among them bring them consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For all of the members of the missionary servants of the Sacred Heart, for all those who have continued to receive the ministrations of Mother Cabrini's religious community, that they may kindle in those they serve gratitude for the gifts that we have been given, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Judy Aquaviva and Kathleen Gallagher, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God, hear our prayers. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini, Saint Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Deliver us Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of the peace of Christ.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by the partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May the Christian people exult, O Lord, at the glorification of the illustrious members of your son's body, and may they gain a share in the eternal lot of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, on whose feast day they reaffirm their devotion to you, rejoicing with them forever in your glory through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Okay. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.